It is said that home is not a place, but a feeling. I am cycling alone across Europe, carrying my paraglider with me, and even after 1000 kilometers and countless nights in the tent, that feeling of being home never diminished, but only grew stronger. After more than 30 days, I reached this wonderful lake surrounded by tall and imposing rocky mountains. I've spent here two days already and I had an absolute blast paragliding in these mountains. This is the most awesome flight so far on this journey. That's paragliding, baby. That's paragliding. What a beauty. <laughs> but now it is time to move on once again. I guess at this point the world became my home and I am excited to continue my journey. Many more places and adventures are waiting for me. I just arrived now at the lake. I took my shirt off and uh, yeah, I just tried to wash a couple of things, wash my hair, my body. That's going to be a nice refreshment. I'm sure people think I am a bum for washing my socks here. <laughs> I keep on riding now. My next 50k for today. Everything back clean, my hair again. Thank God, I feel good. Now it's all about riding. Maybe I stop at the supermarket, buy some stuff, because I am very low on food. Other than that, it's all about riding until it's getting almost dark. Hey! Bon voyage! Somebody else just like me! <laughs> nice! gosh I asked these nice people at this house I stopped by and I asked if I if they maybe know a place where I can pitch up my tent and they invited me to stay in their garden that's so nice wow look at this pretty <laughs> look how beautiful he is oh my gosh yes baby that's the first time I see a pug <laughs> so sweet oh my gosh these people are so nice so nice they offered me already like some fanta here and i can uh, pitch up my tent and it's a quiet place away from the street that's just the best look at this baby <laughs> so you won't believe what happened this nice guy invited me and told me if i would like to go in the jacuzzi and i was like i don't know i, I have no idea and look where i am now that's insane <laughs> my tent is there I am ready for the night it's funny today I was even thinking where can I shower and I thought I'm going to sleep again in the wilderness and here I am now I got a beer as well it's freaking crazy I cannot believe <laughs> Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> you okay. don't have to, but uh, just uh, in the table. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you don't have to, but thank you so much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect this. I start the morning in a very good way. Yes, this is my breakfast for today in the morning. I have been offered a coffee, the juice, some dessert. That's so amazing and nice. I got even a tray. I can say. How thankful I actually am for uh, this for these guys. I have to finish my milk today or tomorrow because I cannot keep it too long. Uh, 
unrefrigerated. I'm almost done with packing back the stuff. Um, I like to be very meticulous and very precise with how I pack the things and uh, how I'm sorting them out because it's very important to find them again. And you know, especially when I have time, I do it very, very nicely. This is the, my breakfast now, breakfast for champions. It's an entire pot full of cornflakes, bananas and milk. And I cannot wait to eat it. Time for me to move on, my friends. I have been very welcomed, I felt very welcomed. Very beautiful place and the people were so nice. I've been treated with kindness so far, so many times. And I am really grateful for all the people so far that um, yeah, have been helping me along the way. And I am sure it's much more to come. But today I'm going to try to push for much more. I'm trying to go today for 100K. Maybe I'm going to manage, maybe not, but that's the goal. Just stopped here at the lake for a second to enjoy and admire this scenery and I got the idea to put my solar panel like this while riding. I didn't do it as yet like this because uh, it's not really that safe I would say but now I secured it as good as I could and uh, yeah I want to give it a shot and let's see how that works. now a pilot not very far from uh, where I am on the road he's up in the air flying and uh, I just thought that it sucks because I cannot fly I have to push for my 100k today I am uh, almost 50 kilometers in already this is where I saw him I can still see him Kind of like in the middle of this ridge, he is there, circling. Look at those puffy, beautiful clouds. That's the problem, you know, if I stop everywhere where it's good to fly, I would never reach my destination. So uh, sometimes I have to just accept that I can't do everything, you know. Anyway, I will get other very beautiful, good opportunities to fly. Even if I might not fly now for the next two weeks, or who knows. I just tried now to see if I can maybe catch a bus or a car to bring me to the launch site which is maybe 600 meters higher and I missed the bus by a couple of minutes. I didn't even know that this uh, takeoff site exists. I just saw while riding the bike to my right these guys here ground handling and I thought that they landed. Nonetheless I still tried to catch the bus but it just drove away. Well 
that's not anyway the plan to fly today so uh, but it would have been nice to catch a flight now in the evening okay let's continue I am now in Grenoble finally and I smashed the 100k today it's uh, almost nine o'clock and I do not have yet a place to sleep I still have 10k to ride so basically I will make something around 110 rather kilometers today and um, yeah I have to now look for a place to sleep I am really happy to have managed for the first time in my life to hit the 100 kilometers on a bike and not just empty with no weight but with 50 kilograms of weight as you can see I have my paraglider with me and uh, all the other stuff that I need for this uh, long long journey I started my ride at 12 o'clock and now it's 9 out of these nine hours I think I pedaled just six because the rest of the time I was doing breaks I ate I went to the supermarket I flew the drone around have some nice scenery for you guys now I really have to find a place to sleep I still didn't find a place to sleep but I am going now to go right here and check maybe I can pitch up my tent here somehow it's pretty windy outside Let's see if this place is going to be good. Hopefully no one is here. It seems that this place is uh, empty. I mean, it says here that the property is private and you cannot, and it's forbidden to take any fruits. So this is the Garden of Eden. Uh, <laughs> but this is where I'm going to pitch up my tent. I already screamed, yelled around here. Excuse me, good evening, is anybody here? No one is here. So it's very, very late. I'm going to pitch up my tent and uh, call it a wrap for today. Yes, my friends, travel enthusiasts, paragliding enthusiasts, or whoever sees this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel as yet and you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up on this video. I would be glad if you check in for more. I have a bunch of adventures coming up from this uh, journey through Europe. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay tuned. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Hey.